So supposedly David Lee Roth, Alex Van Halen have been talking to people about getting together a Van Halen tour as kind of a tribute to Eddie. Um, they called or they were interviewing uh, Jason Newstead to play bass. And uh, Jason's the one who talked about it. And Jason said he was not going to get involved because he thought well, he said he wanted to be involved in something that was not a money grab. So it seems like he's saying, you know, it's a money grab, okay? So he bowed out. And then Joe Satriani talked about being contacted for a Van Halen tribute, a Van Halen concert. It's a tribute to Eddie. Um, the first thing is, this can be done. But to me, it has to be done in a way that does respect the memory of Eddie Van Halen which to me, whatever band Dave goes out with, okay, whatever, whoever the personnel is, David Lee Roth cannot call the band Van Halen. You just, you just cannot do it. Because there is no band Van Halen without Eddie. If every member quit the band when Eddie was alive and Eddie put together a band, he could put together Van Halen. But if Eddie quit Van Halen, the band is over. Just like when Jerry died, the Grateful Dead did not carry the name Grateful Dead because Jerry was the heart of the Grateful Dead. Eddie is the heart of Van Halen. So whatever band Dave puts together, in my opinion, he should not call it Van Halen. Okay, now the way this could work It'd be the best show in a long time for Dave. And we'll, we'll be the best show without Eddie there. Is you have two bands. Okay. And the first band is Sammy Hagar, Michael Anthony, Joe Satriani. And then you have a drummer that can handle the Alex Van Halen material. Someone like um, Tommy Lee, uh, someone like uh, Greg Bissonette, some, some, possibly some younger guy who has the chops to play like Alex. And then a keyboard player. So you have Sammy. Michael Anthony, Joe Satriani on guitar, a drummer, and a keyboard player. And you call it Chicken Foot, you call it Sammy and Friends, you call it, you know, whatever you want to call it, Mini Van Halen, it doesn't matter. And they play all of the Sammy Hagar era stuff. And whenever these guitar players, it's important to note that every guitar player in these bands, in these two bands, every guitar player will play Eddie Van Halen note for note. 
you don't stray from playing Eddie's solos, note for note, just like on the record. The recording that people are used to hearing, the recording that people love, you play it note for note. You don't go, oh, look what I can do. Eddie did this and I can do this. No, this is a tribute to Eddie. You play Eddie note for note, okay? Any guitar player on stage will be told, you play Eddie note for note or don't get on stage before they take the gig, obviously. So that's the first band, plays the Sammy Hagar material. Now the foundation band, the band that plays the Van Halen material is Wolfie, Dave, and Alex. And then you have three guitar players. Okay, three guitar players. You have Paul Gilbert, who can play Eddie note for note. You have Steve Vai, who's a Joe Saltrani, you know, student. He's a master guitar player, play Eddie note for note. And then my third choice, which is interchangeable, but my third choice is Buckethead, who can play Eddie note for note. So you have three guitar players. So let's say you have 21 songs with Dave and each guitar player plays seven songs. Okay. This is what the concert would look like. Okay. Check this out. You have the opening band, Sammy, Michael, Joe Satriani, drummer, keyboard player, playing all the Sammy stuff, playing all the Van Halen with Sammy stuff. Then you have the main band come out, David, Wolfie, Alex, and the first guy, let's say, is Buckethead, plays note for note. Now, to bring on the next guitar player during this act, you wait until the middle of the song, right before the guitar solo, and the one guy who's on stage gets blacked out from the light, and a spotlight goes on the next guy, and he starts playing the solo. That's where you get introduced to the next guitar player. There's no fanfare like, ladies and gentlemen, Steve. No, no. Right before the guitar solo, the light cuts on him, and Steve Vai starts playing the guitar solo. That's how you introduce the next guitar player. It's like a like a like a, a baton at a running race. The race doesn't stop. You know, the song doesn't stop to bring on another guitar player. He comes in playing the Eddie Van Halen solo. And that way people, you know, yay, here he is. And they can cheer the other guy that left. And it's tributing to Eddie all the way. You're not fanfaring for Buckethead. You're not fanfaring for Steve. You're not fanfaring for Paul Gilbert. You're you're giving a tribute to Eddie Van Halen, a respectful tribute to Eddie Van Halen. So that's how you go through the guitar players. And each guitar player, like I said, plays Eddie note for note. So you got Dave on stage with Buckethead, someone like him. You got Dave on stage with, with uh, Steve Vai. And you got Dave on stage with Paul Gilbert. And then for the last song, okay, for the very last song, okay, Wolfie leaves, Michael Anthony comes on stage to play with Dave. So it's Dave, Michael, and Alex. You have whatever guitar player already on there, right? He leaves and a hologram of Eddie appears on stage. So the band is playing with a hologram of Eddie on stage. And they play a simple song like Running with the Devil, Ain't Talking About Love, something from the first record. 
And in the back, on the big screen, you have a slideshow similar to this, where it shows Eddie next to his amps, Eddie next to his guitars, Eddie with his wife, Eddie with Wolfie. Not chronologically, like Eddie was born and Eddie died. No, just random photos, slideshows, a big, nice slideshow in the back of Eddie, a tribute to Eddie, with a hologram of Eddie on stage. And they play that one of their early songs. Ain't talking about love, running with the devil. And then you end the show, lights blacking out, the hologram disappearing. And that would be a, a fitting tribute to, you know, Eddie and uh, the band, in my opinion. So I agree with Jason. You can't have this show be a money grab. So I think if, if they did the show like this, it would be a, it would be a very fitting tribute and it would not be a money grab. People would definitely get their money's worth.